Hello and welcome to the second workshop in Taylor Memorial Library's Spring 2021 Database Spotlight Series on Hein Online. This is Amy, your Electronic Resources Librarian. For today's bite-sized workshop, we're focusing on the Civil Rights and Social Justice Database. All TML workshops are available on our website or look for Taylor Memorial Library on YouTube. In case you missed it, Sarah gave an overview of the COVID-19 pandemic's past and present database, and next month, Arianne will talk about women and the law. Since Hein on Align is a relatively new database for us at Centenary, we're doing this series to spread the word about everything it has to offer. It is a great option for researching subjects like government, history, law, and political science. And those are just the beginning. It's a great database for criminal justice, sociology, the environment, and nearly any topic as it relates to law and public policy. We've been impressed with how responsive the company is to what's going on in the world. In just the past two years, they've launched a US presidential impeachment library, an executive privilege database, the COVID-19 database, and civil rights and social justice database. So what kind of content is included? It has the entire congressional record, the Federal Register, the Code of Federal Regulations, the complete coverage of the U.S. reports back to 1754, the official record of the U.S. Supreme Court, along with databases dedicated to U.S. presidents and much more. It contains comprehensive coverage from the beginning of more than 2,900 law-related scholarly periodicals. Um, the content dates from the 1700s up, to, to, through, up through today, and our subscription provides access to 34 of Hein Online 60 plus databases. So why should you use it or encourage your students to use it? It contains both primary and secondary sources. All materials in the database are fully searchable in a PDF format. All of the content not born digital has been scanned in. The interface is user-friendly, mobile-friendly, and accessible. And while some content may be available from other sources, this is a great one-stop search tool. So from the library's website, click on search on the top navigation bar and select databases. This takes you to the library's A to Z list of databases. You can scroll through use, or use the filters here. Here is a view filtered by subject, racial justice. This is one way you can find the Civil Rights and Social Justice Database. Um, I want to start by showing you the broader Hein Online database, so I'm going to click on Clear Filters and Browse All Databases. So back on the full list, I click on the alphabetical H filter here, and now I can see the Hein Online Academic listing. Um, you will be asked to log in as with any other subscription-based resource using your centenary credentials. So here is the Hein Online welcome page. The top portion of the screen, this navigation bar and the search box will follow you throughout the database. Those will always show. The nav bar shows which databases you're currently in. The default is all databases. You can click on one of the databases in the Browse Database by Name section, or you can also um, use this databases dropdown to select more than one. The nav bar also provides access to your personal account, what's new, and help materials. The search box defaults to search the full text of all database materials. Um, if you know a specific publication that you want to use, you can use the catalog tab to locate that. This browse databases by category section shows um, or allows you to explore by a certain type of content. Clicking on case law reveals the US Supreme Court library. Clicking on journals and periodicals reveals the law journal library and nomos. The lower section of the screen shows all the databases we have on Hein Online, and the plus signs indicate a new database. Next to each database is an information icon, which when clicked, reveals a description of the contents. The Civil Rights and Social Justice database is described as containing publications from the Commission on Civil Rights, Legislative Histories on Landmark, landmark Legislation, briefs from relevant US, US Supreme Court cases and more, 
This database covers civil rights in the United States as their legal protections and definitions are expanded to cover more and more Americans. Um, clicking the info icon again will close that description. Clicking on the database name uh, reveals a table of contents here. And then clicking this database name within the dropdown launches the database. We have now arrived at the introduction section of the Civil Rights and Social Justice Database, um, offering a useful summary of the history of the fight for civil rights in the US, um, including constitutional amendments, um, major Supreme Court decisions, and landmark legislation. Um, you can delve into how we've arrived at this current place in our history. This is not just a historical database though. You can view recent laws and rulings that have influenced civil rights and social justice, um, like the 2013 Supreme Court decision in Shelby v. Holder that struck down many of the protections from the Voting Rights Act of 1965. You can research Black Lives Matter, COVID-19 and workplace issues, or even the CARES Act in relation to civil rights laws. So moving to the next tab in our table of contents listing here, um, you get all titles listing every publication in the Civil Rights and Social Justice Database. You can browse by title, author, date range, or subject. Next, we have um, the US Commission on Civil Rights, um, the agency tasked with informing the development of national civil rights policy and investigating allegations of violations. Following that is committee prints. These are reports from the House or Senate committees on civil rights issues. Then CRS reports, reports from the Congressional Research Service, um, the agency that provides objective research and analysis to congressional committees throughout the legislative process. Um, next, there are GAO reports from the Government Ex Accountability Office, the nonpartisan federal agency tasked with sort of being the congressional watchdog. After that, um, hearings, congressional legislative hearings, Legislative histories, which detail the development of landmark acts of legislation, Supreme Court briefs, statement of the Essential Human Rights Archive, other related works that have been uh, deemed relevant for this topic, scholarly articles. This is approximately 500 curated scholarly journal articles. Uh, notice that the default sort here is by most cited. Next to each article is a number showing how many times that source has been cited. Following that are additional resources, which links to useful external sites for further for research. So let's go back and do some searching. Shown here is a search for Obergefell v. Hodges, the 2015 Supreme Court ruling that state bans on same-sex marriage violated the due process and equal protection clauses of the 14th Amendment and forced states to recognize same-sex marriage. So we have 62 results here. Notice at the left are option, options to refine your results by date, document type, section type, subjects, and title publication. So here's an expanded view of two of those filters, date and document type. Put in your own date range or focus in on specific types of sources. Also notice to the right of each result, the tools icons for downloading a PDF, uh, other download options, emailing the document, or saving to your personal account. So taking a look at the first result from that search, I've clicked on the title, Brief for Marriage Equality USA in Support of Petitioners. At left, we see the Cite button. Click this to get a citation. Notice the toolbar above the document. I'm sorry, let me go back. Um, important to be aware of are the left and right arrow icons um, to move to the next page or the previous page, including included again here are the usual download, um, email and save to my on online buttons that we saw on the result list. New icons here are the plain text button, the permalink button, um, an option to search within the document, rotation buttons, zoom in and out buttons, and a multi-page view and a full screen view. Trying another type of search here, 
After clicking on advanced search in the search box, I chose to try a Venn diagram search. A caveat here, I did this in the broader High Online database um, purely by accident, but you can do it within the smaller databases too. So I'm inputting a Boolean search with civil rights in quotations to denote as a phrase, followed by and in all caps, voting rights in quotes, and in all caps again, and race. Here are the results of that Venn diagram search. You can see the visual display and use it to navigate between your result sets. The default display is for the section where all of my search terms overlap. A key thing to note, if you're presented with a large number of search results, in this case 42,000, the database default is to present your result as an infinite list. They kindly give you the option to turn off infinite scroll. And once you do that, you'll see um, 10 results on each page with uh, next result page links at the bottom um, to page through those results. So working with their search results again here, you can change the sort. The default is sort by relevance, but you can also select oldest first, newest first, number of times cited by articles, number of times access over the past 12 months, and by most cited author. Here I've navigated to a journal article result so I can show you a couple other nifty features. In the upper left between the contents and the site button is the scholar check button. When you click on that to get more details, we see that this article has been cited by two articles and viewed 30 times in the past year. Um, the other feature I wanted to point out is the more like this button. This is extremely useful if you've hit upon a super relevant article for your research and you want to discover similar articles in the database. When you click on more like this, it launches a search in a new tab showing additional results. Note that it, if, it, if it is highlighted in pink, it is not available in full text in the database. Looking at the interesting word sliders along the left, you can boost or give more or less weight to interesting terms found in your original article to adjust your search results a bit more. This is a screen from Hein Online's excellent help pages de detailing what you can do with a personal My Hein account. You can bookmark documents, save search queries, set up table of contents alerts, author alerts, and edit your author profile, as well as favorite your most favorite databases. So thank you for joining me today. I hope you give Hein Online and the Civil Rights and Social Justice Database a try, and I hope you help us spread the word. Feel free to reach out with any questions or comments by filling out our Ask a Librarian form or by emailing library at centenaryuniversity.edu. To catch up on our other workshops, look for Taylor Memorial Library on YouTube. And save the date for our third database spotlight workshop when Marianne talks about women and the law. See you April 7th.